Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our first major upgrade to the Edge browser for desktop, which started rolling out on the 12th of January. And we've been bumped up now to version 109 of the Edge web browser. Now, just like I did post earlier this week, version 109 of Edge, if you are expecting major front-facing features, um, I think if you are an, are an average home user, you may, may be a little bit disappointed as most of the, the changes are taking place, as we would say, under the hood. And at the heart and core of this um, update, it's really just a security update. So um, it's always good to check um, when we are dealing with security updates. And to see if you have the latest version, we just head to the menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And uh, if it hasn't done so already, this process will update you to the latest version and build which is now 109.0.1518.49. Now, um, this is an important security update and very similar to the Chrome web browser, it includes 14 security fixes. Now, um, Chrome included 17, but nonetheless, um, there are 14 in total. 12 of those security fixes have addressed 12 vulnerabilities in the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on. And two of those are edge specific. So that's actually for the edge browser itself. And um, those two edge specific security fixes are for a remote code execution and an elevation of privilege. And um, the Chromium security fixes also address two high severity security flaws, which is your second highest after a critical. So very important just to double check that your browser is up to date. Um, even if you're not interested in any new features or any uh, little changes and um, it is your first line of defense so just double check it only takes a couple of seconds now with the security fixes out the way um, just to go through a couple of uh, the the so-called changes I have noticed since upgrading uh, if we head to the sidebar which Microsoft is giving a lot of attention in recent updates to the browser um, if we just click on customize sidebar I have noticed here yeah, under top sites um, we have a couple of new top sites. Now I am seeing that SoundCloud is a new top site. I think Twitter is also one. Telegram, Lost Music, and I hope I get this pronunciation right. Qgo. I think that's how you pronounce that. So uh, if you are using the top sites, once again, a couple of more top sites have been added and we can expand and minimize that menu by clicking on that little toggle. And when it comes to the sidebar, I'm not noticing anything else changed at this stage. And just to mention a couple of the so-called feature updates that Microsoft has make, made mention of uh, in the release notes. They say um, that they are enabling users to link a personal Microsoft account and Azure Active Directory account through work or school. So that's if you have a work or school account. And then Microsoft says that once linked, you can then earn Microsoft rewards points uh, for Microsoft Bing searches done um, uh, in the browser or Windows search box while signed in with your work or school account. So that's a little change there if you are using a work or school account. And then just to mention uh, the second last uh, change, um, text prediction. Um, apparently that's going to help you write faster with fewer mistakes now in version 109. And um, according to Microsoft, the browser will provide word and sentence predictions for long form editable text fields on web pages. And then over and above uh, those so-called new features, um, we have eight new policies and two policies have also been deprecated. So guys, that's more or less it for version 109 of uh, the Microsoft Edge web browser. Um, uh, all the little changes really taking place under the hood and also um, an important security update and just on a side note version 109 of the edge browser is the last version that will support windows 7 and windows 8 8.1 as i have posted previously and i'll actually leave a link to that video in the description so if you are still on windows 7 and windows 8 which by the way uh, microsoft did end support officially for windows 7 esu and windows 8 8.1 uh, earlier this week so if you are still using those operating systems for whatever reason and are using the edge browser um, microsoft edge 109 will be the last supported version when 110 rolls out uh, next month in february uh, 
you will not be able to install that onto your system. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.